Hello people. I'm uh, on this asphalt uh, location. It's quite a new uh, building there. Some kind of industry storage or something like that. And it's got some asphalt uh, space there. Uh, it would be perfect if that midsection was away, but uh, you have it. So of course you can find a track that goes around that. But I think I just want to keep on this part here. First I did just walk around and uh, removed some uh, larger stones and it's quite flat there. I brought with me a calc to mark some uh, corners and then I have uh, this uh, orange uh, plastic rubber that I'm gonna use. So now I'm just gonna start uh, drive and see how it goes. I also took me with me this ladder just so I get a bit up from the ground. Could be even higher but it's okay to stand on this top plate here. Like so. You come a bit higher about uh, uh, a short meter higher. So I, I think I'm just gonna find out I could maybe have a sharp turn down here and then come up again here then maybe do it inside there out there maybe I have to do a quick turn around this one come I just want to drive over here and see if it's it's, ah, it's a bit bumpy there but then we can come back here Do it there again, around here again. So let's just try this now. I think I'm gonna start with sort of that track. Uh, if I did the top over there, that could be a bit sharp turn there. Okay. I tried to make uh, mark a track now. Turn off the car.
just using about 50 minutes I now have laid out this track and removed some stones from this asphalt and you can see I've marked around the, uh, the points there with uh, some calc on the asphalt and you can see the arrows that indicate which direction I should go so this uh, I will use both way uh, I'm driving alone so it's not uh, important to uh, yes, keep keep the track. <laughs> I, I have no uh, traffic coming to me. To me. So here I'm going to take the turn on the outside there, and I'm going to go down to that mark, and I'm going to stay on the right spot and turn around, and I'm going to come back again, and then I'm going to take this inner side, and then I'm going to go up to that mark there, and then I'm going to go to that far most there on the outside then straight down here and then turn around again and then coming back here and going, going on the far side there around there and up again so you, you will see it now I've just start to test drive a bit slowly in the start to see how it is also I have to make sure that it's uh, not any big stones lying on the asphalt there so I have a quite a good uh, here. Maybe I should move a bit this way because the point that will be hardest for me to see is uh, is when I'm going around on the foremost point there. But let's see now. I'm coming this way, going around here. And this is a sharp turn, so I cannot have a good speed there. And then coming back again on this side, up here, around there, and then just forward here, and then on the outside there, around so, back here, through there, up on the outside there, down again here. Yes, there we have the lane. Uh, it was maybe a bit straight there, so maybe the turn could be a bit more down, but I'm not sure. Let me just drive it a few times. Kill that turn. Almost kill that turn again. Yeah, I, I'm gonna do it quickly. Fix it now. Let me see. I want this turn to be a bit uh, moved farther out there, so I get a more turn into the next turn. First, I have to fix this marker here since I hit it. So I should try to keep on the outside and not cross the white lines. Oh. Let me just test it. This morning out. Maybe.
think that will be better. Alright, now I'm going to drive for 8 minutes. I hope uh, the batteries hold for that long. Uh, the races are maybe just 5 minutes, uh, but uh, here on this track, and I have some, is it 8400 milliamps batteries. I'm not going at maximum speed, but it's some braking and acceleration that will draw some uh, energy but I just try driving for eight minutes I set the timer on my transmitter and we will see how it goes there we are this is the only location I have to be a bit careful in that turn there because I I'm I'm quite close to the building there Here, I have to be focused and not miss the car and, and not too much throttle out of the turn. Uh, the motor was a bit uh, hotter now. Maybe because of the more, more acceleration and, uh, <laughs> oh no, more acceleration and uh, braking.
that was a deep turn. I have the timing on 16 degrees now on the you see. Maybe that's also why the uh, engine was a bit hotter. But this is really the first time I drive this car like this, like real, real racing. With a lot of acceleration and braking here. have better traction today, better grip on this asphalt. Uh, one minute to go. So I have been dri driving for seven minutes now. The transmitter peeps when it's one minute left. Oh, oh, oh. Just a bit too much speed and uh, braking there. Yeah, you have to concentrate. It's okay practice. Ah, oh, too much speed and too much brake again. Ah, it's counting down. Yeah. So now I have been driving for exactly eight minutes. So I'm gonna measure these batteries. Uh, and also feel the temperature of the car. Uh, it's especially the motor I feel is getting a bit hot. Again, I have raised, raised the, the timing on the EC to 16 degrees. Uh, the, the motor is quite hot. Exactly how hot? I'm not sure. I don't have this. Uh, uh, I, I can't measure it. But let me see her now. I'm just gonna let it cool down a bit. So it's blowing on the motor. The batteries are okay. The EC are okay. I can see some more wear now on these tires. And these tires are really for uh, wet conditions, so they have good grip. And I can also feel they are they are lumpy warm. So it's uh, really better conditions today with uh, higher air temperature and more grip on this asphalt now. Okay, I'll turn on the turn off the car. So let's measure this batteries now. Eight minutes driving. Uh, and we have a airplane coming over us, yes. <laughs> there you can see it. Uh, these batteries are 8400 milliamps, but they are high volt batteries, but I've not charged them up to but it is 
4.6 volt per cell. I only charge them to 4.2. Oh, it's maybe 4.4 then, maybe. But anyway, let's see how they are. They are down to 7.6 volt. So that, that would say that each cell are 3.8. And that's okay. I think that's also okay for even if they are high volt batteries. Uh, maybe in a competition some people would say, well that's a bit low, you should really have 10,000 milliamp batteries. Yes, I agree if you gonna drive in a real competition but as I'm just practice I think it's okay as long as the batteries are not going too low I think it's okay okay now I'm gonna let this car just uh, rest and cool down and I'm gonna switch to the serpent wiper and see how the foam tires are taking this location Okay, now I'm gonna start to drive the Serpent Viper 989E. But uh, when I drove the SRX8 GTE, the rubber tires was getting uh, warmer. So I, I had the uh, okay grip, but uh, these foam tires are completely cold now. And I don't have anything uh, uh, liquid. Uh, addition on the foam tires so I, I guess I'm gonna have a quite low grip now so I'm just gonna be a bit careful in the start I set the timer to seven minutes so I just drive for seven minutes on these batteries these are 8000 milliamp batteries and we are driving on for us like you are doing it I think every eight scale on road electric classes so let's just uh, see how the car is going this car is uh, has higher maximum speed it also have a way much faster acceleration and uh, and it's a bit lower so I again I have to be a bit careful with the rocks now I'm just gonna fix this marker here because it's out of position. I, no, I have not started the timer yet. I could maybe just uh, spin around a bit to warm up the foam tires, but I just gonna take it easy and start and see if we can get some more uh, traction. Also, I have to remember to not use the brakes too much because these cars typically flip around if I keep braking too much. Okay, we go again. It also turns, turns not much uh, sharper if you have the traction oh there I had a rock but okay yeah maybe I should start the timer now it's some rock uh, on the far side there but the timer is started, so now we're going to drive for seven minutes. Let's see, Serpent Viper 9 <laughs> 9. Oh no. Electric. I already hit some rocks and... I did hit, hit the marker. But I, I feel this car is way faster already. I feel it now, even if the foam tires are cold. It's a faster car, it's a lighter car. It's got more acceleration and it also have sharper turns. 
Oh, it's just hitting the ground somewhere there. It's maybe asphalt sort of edge. Here, there, yes, okay, but I think it's okay. Oh no, it, it was me hitting the brakes too hard. That was the driver fault. operation out of the corner there. So you have to be very precise on the acceleration and the brakes with this car. If not, it's gonna turn like that. That was too much brake. But I feel the car is going all right. And I'm far from using maximum speed now. If you just accelerate, accelerate when it's straight and just release the throttle and just take the turns without braking. No brakes there. No brakes there. No brakes there. So I'm not braking now. I'm just trying to calculate when to release the throttle and how much speed I can have. Yeah, I hit a few markers now, but it's not uh, doing anything. I'm just... Oh. So I now started to use no brakes at all. Oh, no brakes there. It was me, just me turning a bit too short. So no brakes there now. No brakes. No brakes. Yeah, no brakes, that's the thing, it looks like. Just find the right speed and take the turns. Quite good. Ah, uh, a bit too high speed, so I had to do a bigger turn. It's starting to have more grip also, I feel. Maybe the foam tires are warming up now. No brakes. No. No brakes are just me taking it a bit too fast and too sharp turn. I have the 
exponential on 8 or 10 or 15 percent. See, let's see how how long is it again. I set the timer at seven minutes. How long have it gone now? I can't see down. I can't look down. Yeah, it's 45 seconds again. But I didn't hear the peep there. It should peep at one minute left. I just didn't uh, hear it. Uh, it's a few spots uh, I can hear that it's uh, hitting the ground, but it could just be the body. Maybe the front of the body, that's maybe the lowest point. And there I draw over one of these uh, water uh, holes, or what they call it. Okay, that was uh, seven minutes of driving. Now again I'm gonna feel the heat on the, especially the motor. It looks like the ESC and batteries are taking everything out. It's just the motor. And also measure the batteries. But that was seven minutes of driving. And the motor is uh, just lunky warm. This is a bit bigger motor. And this car is lighter. Yeah, everything is good. Just have to check that the bo both the fans are running. Sometimes you get the rock or something inside the fans. That's why I have this uh, 3D printed uh, gitter here on top. So I just look at the fans to see if they are moving. Yeah, both are moving. Yes, that's good. Okay. So then I'm just gonna measure the batteries after seven mi minutes of driving. How much do we have left? Minus and there's the plus. 7.67. So we have about 3.8, uh, 3.85 left. So that's good. That would be even good for a competition, I, I believe. So on this location, seven minutes of driving is all right. It's a bit dusty here, I see. The foam tires are not uh, very warm. They are okay. So uh, I have two more packs of batteries with me. Also the batteries are just lonky warm. So I could have drove for at least eight minutes, maybe even nine minutes. But uh, 10 minutes, I think the batteries would start to get a bit low. So I'm gonna keep it on seven minutes because about 3.8 uh, per cell, as a volt per cell, that's storage uh, voltage. So it's okay to just run the batteries down to storage so I can just drop them in my bag and yeah, have them on storage again. I'm not sure if this video is interesting or not, but maybe for people that are getting into uh, 18 uh, on road, they can see the possibilities. And like this location, I'm no, it's not a very big location, but it's quite new. So I'm not sure what's gonna happen here later, if it's gonna be more car parked there. But if this uh, 
were open and not had a lot of cars parked here. It must be okay to just meet some people here and do some laps. Okay. And we got seven minutes. Here we go again. And now I try not to hit the brakes. Just take the turns. I trust that we have traction and takes the turns at the right time. distracted now both of this airplane and both of that mobile phone that is ringing but I'm not gonna take the mobile phone now you don't take the mobile phone when you are just started the race I think it stopped so okay I'm gonna keep driving here also it's a motorbike that it's doing some speed uh, or just burning a uh, farther down here and also now Typically it comes a car also, so I'm totally distracted. Oh, totally distracted. Ah. Typically when you have this perfect setup and want to drive your and Concentrate. You have all kind of distractions. First, this airplane, then my mobile phone. Then you have people. Yeah. Oh no. it stopped I guess that's because uh, you're running out of power but that was a bit surprising I'm 240 left hmm hello
I think they liked the car because they were saying hello to me. Yes, I have. I have power on the steering, but not on the throttle. But I have only drove for about five minutes. And I believe that the battery sh should uh, stay stayed for a long time. Hmm. It's some sort. Is it overheating? Is it? Batteries are fully charged. I'm not sure why. Overheating. I'm not sure what it was, but it was maybe something just binding here. It could be a small rock that was uh, that it was uh, locking some part that that could easily stop the drive train but it looks like it's going okay now and the motor is not warm but I have to check how much battery power I have left I I have uh, yeah not quite five now five minutes around there let's see how much we have left there now. 7.92 so we have almost 4 volts per cell. Okay, we have a good uh, battery capacity again, so we can drive at least 3 minutes more. Just let's see that we can get this. Yeah. Looks like it's going okay now. Alright. 
It was a very good uh, driving condition, it's fun to drive here, but I got all kind of distractions when I was driving. First I heard this motorbike, but it was maybe a car that was spinning or going on high RPM down here. And then we had this aeroplane that's coming, and then maybe my wife did call me on the phone, so I have to call back to her now. And then of course the car stopped after just, what was it, uh, about five minutes driving. And I checked the batteries, and they are just about uh, 3.95 volt each cell. So it's not uh, low voltage and the engine was cool, everything was cool, but the drivetrain was a bit hard to move. So it was maybe something stuck in the drivetrain, uh, somewhere, maybe under a belt or something like that. And that uh, just kept, uh, stopped the car from going and uh, you could only turn, turn the uh, wheels, the steering. Uh, so I'm going to drive three more minutes, just have to call my wife first. Uh, I did uh, remove all the four wheels and uh, check the car a bit and it now feels okay. You can see that it's it's moving freely, it's running. So let's see who did call me. Yep, it was wifey. What do wifey want to do? No. Maybe she wants me to buy some food. Uh, I'm uh, at the uh, Bil Tema and driving a car. I'm soon coming home. You're on video. What do you want me to do? <laughs> I would like you come home right away. Why that's... Do you want me to buy something or is it dinner time? Iska, I would like to go out for a while and I get the substitution slide on me. Okay, cool. Yeah, I can come home, but you have to wait about 30 minutes then, okay? 30 minutes? Aye, 30. I just, you know, the, the not 20, then 30, also 30 minutes. 30 minutes about that. A half hour? Yes, half an hour, that's right. <laughs> it is too long for me, I'll wait with you. I would like, you have to come home immediately. Yeah, I come home, but uh, just uh, wait, uh, do some reading. I'm coming home now. We can maybe go to Bjore if you want a fish or something like that. I can, that's why. Yeah, you have to wait because I have uh, uh, still uh, some batteries to drive here and I have to drive because these batteries don't like to be stored at all. All right, a lot of distraction on that uh, second uh, try to drive seven minutes, but uh, a lot of things happened there, also my wife uh, called me, so I had to call her back. But I had to have about 3.95 volt per cell, so I have a lot of battery uh, left, so I'm going to drive for 3 minutes now. Uh, okay, and then I'm going to change to the 110 scale car. It's so typically... When you just have the perfect driving condition and you're starting to having a lot of fun, then you have this all kind of distractions. Aeroplanes and cars running, cars coming into the driver track here. Wife is calling. And then I even had a stop on the car, but that was maybe something in the drive train. Okay, I'm gonna concentrate now for two, three minutes. Now the tires are cool again, so I have to take some time here. I can feel I have less grip now. Also, it's getting late on the day now, so it's getting colder. But okay, grip hard. Just use the throttle correctly. Oh, that was a bit crazy turning.
I'm hitting the markers now. <laughs> they are flying around. I think I have about two minutes left now. Oh, I, I think I saw edge there, like something I was hitting into, but it was just, I was a bit out, out of the asphalt there. Lucky for me, it was not the big edge. Oh, there, there you have edge. So you have to have a bit even ground because this car has very low ground players. I think I feel the like traction is a bit better now, but... Oh, I'm doing some bad driving also now. I'm just testing the car a bit, going a bit too fast maybe. There we had to stop again. But I did the drive for three minutes. It's maybe the batteries now. I'm not sure. I have to check the car again. Something in the drug train. Yeah. What is it really? Yeah, I'm back again. I'm just gonna talk a bit while I'm fixing the track now. Uh, the serpent stopped uh, for a second time and it was not the batteries, I believe. I did feel the EC was a bit hot, uh, but the fan was moving. The motor was okay. Uh, the drivetrain felt a bit, a bit uh, sticky. Hard to move. 
So I guess I'm just getting some small rocks uh, in the drivetrain. Maybe under a belt or something. I also did see one of the belt had like a, like a small crack. Not crack really, but I definitely saw that there had been some rocks uh, <coughs> under one of the belt. So I hope it's just uh, that. But a bit odd that it uh, happened two times during the light, uh, the last uh, <coughs> drive there. So again, uh, keeps uh, happening stuff when you're having fun here. But now, uh, this will be the last car I test here. This is a one ton turning uh, scale car. It's 13.5 turn motor stock, so it's zero timing in the EEC. Final drive ratio it's 5.17. This car is set up for really high speed and high performance. It's running 2S. Uh, right height is about uh, 8 millimeters, I believe. Uh, so it, let, just let's see how this is doing. I've not done anything with the tires. I think I have 30 in the front and 28 in the rear. So these tires are really for inside carpet driving. Usually in asphalt you are using about uh, maybe 30, 32, 34. Uh, but I have no additive or no liquid on the on the tires. So I'm just gonna drive the car like this. I've tested it before on asphalt and it was all right traction. So let's just see. I'm gonna start the timer for seven minutes now. And this is the team associated uh, TC71. So it's an old, uh, old car, and uh, it can be a bit tricky to get spare parts for it now. And you see how very quiet it's driving, and that's because uh, the spur is plastic. The pinion is the only metal piece in the drivetrain, uh, sort of, and it's belt driven. So just uh, see how quietly it's running. And I'm not going at maximum speed now, I'm just testing how much traction I have here. Oh. I just have to check uh, what the uh, travel is set on here. Yeah. Should set that to 100, yes. Okay. We're back again. Because sometimes when you drive inside, you can even take the throttle a bit down. Because you don't need that crazy high speed. It depends on the track, of course, the size of how much turn it is. Yeah, you can even hear, hear a bit uh, noise from the tires now in the turns. They are squeezed, squealing a bit. It was really okay to drive her. I can hit maximum throttle here, fuse. Like now, I'm having maximum throttle. Let's skip, slow it down again. Maximum throttle there for a short time. Maximum throttle now. Release it a bit. I'm not using the brakes. But the drag brake, I believe, is on. I'm not how, sure how much, maybe just 8%, uh, percent, but... I'm really feeling that the drag brake is too high now. 
but I'm not gonna change it now. Oh! I think I, the car just did a jump on one of the markers there. Yeah, good traction on. Okay, uh, speed here. Oh no, the, a few bad turns there. That was better. Oh. Yeah. Good traction, really. But uh, these tires are quite uh, soft. 28, 30. So they, I think they're going to wear out. Uh, quite fast. And again this is stock 13.5 turn motor and zero timing in the EC. But the car is running really good. Even some spots are I, I, I'm holding maximum uh, <laughs> throttle. I know it's a sort of edge there on the asphalt. It was me just coming a bit to a bit on the outside on the asphalt there. I should really keep the hair, keep the line here. That's the battle line. Ah, that's that's a good line. Oh, a bit too. Close me there. Yeah, one minute left. So I'm gone for six minutes now. I have one minute left, and then we have drove for seven minutes. That was a good line. Can you hear the tires are squeezing? Or what they call it? Making a bit peeping noise. Beep, beep. No. Usually that means that you have a good traction. Good grip. Yeah, last last lap down. I'm just gonna drive this complete lap. That was seven minutes. Yeah. So let me just feel the. Uh, let me just feel the tires now. Yeah, the tires are lunky warm. I see it's a bit uh, tearing here on the inside, but not bad. And these tires was really a bit wear, worn out before I started. And how are the electronics? The motor is fine. You have this very small EC compared to the one it's The EC is fine also. 
So it looks like the electronics are just taking it. Temperature is uh, good. Everything is fine. Just one last thing after seven minutes uh, driving here, I'm just gonna measure this battery and see. Here. 7.8. Okay, so we have about 3.9. Uh, it's a bit high. I could maybe just drive the car just to get it a bit more down there. But this car was excellent there, really. I can just show you the speed of the car. I'm not sure, maybe 60. Okay, but this was almost the perfect day. Only the wiper was uh, stopping two times. But I hope it was just uh, small rocks in the drive train uh, under the belts or something like that. I'm gonna check the car better when I'm coming home. And maybe I'm gonna even do a new run tomorrow. Because they, it's also gonna be nice weather tomorrow. And as long as it's not raining, I believe this uh, marks on this track are going to kept, be kept up, be not removed. I can't drive the nitro car, car or, or I maybe could, but one time I did drive my nitro buggy here. One of the neighbor, neighbor here did come to me and talk to me. He was not that happy. Uh, so I don't believe I'm going to drive the nitro car, car here again. You can see how nicely this car is moving. I think I hit all the markers now, more or, more or less. Oh, 
almost the building there. Okay, that was just to get the battery down to storage volt. That was uh, really running a bit on uh, the high side and the motor is cool. Easy also, battery also. So really good performer. I just have to take down the drag brake. I don't need a uh, drag brake like, like it's now. So that was a good uh, experience there really. A good location. I just hope this location will not be closed down and that it's not coming a lot of equipment here. But that's uh, really what's worrying me. So maybe that, uh, I can't drive here that many times. But uh, I can't see people moved into these uh, buildings yet. At not least all of them. So I maybe gonna have some more time there this summer, maybe. Maybe more people gonna come here and drive. Why am I talking now? I have to get home to wifey. She gonna call me again. Okay, that was all. A really good experience here. Bye bye.